Hi guys, this is Angie from Don't Pay Retail Thrift. I'm going to do a um, garage sale and an estate sale haul for you today. I'm going to start with an estate sale that we went to um, the other, the same day that we went to the garage sale that I sh hopefully you saw the shop with me video on. And I apologize if it was bad. I had a lot of issues with that, but hopefully you got to see that and it, you could at least see something. <laughs> So first I'll start with the estate sale. It was a homegrown estate sale, as I like to call it, which means it was done by the family. And when we got there, it was actually two guys outside and there was no customers there. And we, we walked up and they said, hey, if it's priced, it's priced. If it's not, it's a dollar. So I went in. I went into the basement. Um, and what I got, I got this and this right here, what I'm going to show you, for actually $2.00. Um, the first thing I got, I just grabbed a couple small things. Um, this is just a little container of little metal, um, little like die cut, um, St. Patrick's Day four leaf clovers. It's hard to find St. Patrick's Day, so when I find it, I always try to pick it up, but that was a cute little find. So I grabbed that. I grabbed this Dymo tape. I have sold a lot of these tape, um, printer things, the vintage ones, and I actually have a couple still. So I always grab those because I use those. So that, that, and the one big um, glue stick I grabbed. And I was thinking, oh, maybe he'll just charge me a dollar for the three of those because I wouldn't pay a dollar a piece. But then I went in the basement and I found these really cool. They had five um, flower sacks. And I'm not sure how old they are because they have some... Um, like this first one, it has the label on it, and then it, but it has um, just some information here that tells you it's probably not as old as some flower sacks. So maybe they're like newer ones, but they are in really good shape. I just love the the print, um, the fabric. I remember my grandmother saying they used to make clothes out of their flower sa or their feed sacks and flower sacks. So that was kind of cool, um, and they looked real. They're really clean. I don't know if they ever had anything in them. They don't really look like it, so I'm not sure if they're reproductions or what they are, but I just thought they were really cool. So I got that small one, and when I got two bigger ones, I loved this fabric here. Just the berries, strawberries, cherries, just different kind of berries. And this one says Burris Light Crust Flower. This was a 25-pound one, and it was in really good shape as well. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those, but I thought those were cool. And then this one here was also a larger 25 pound one. It just says uh, George something enriched flower. But I thought those were kind of neat. Um, just neat to do something with. So I grabbed those three. And I only got the three because he had said everything would, would be a dollar if it wasn't priced. So I thought, well, three dollars. I didn't get the other two. They weren't as cute and... Um, I didn't want to pay five dollars. So anyway, I grabbed the three thinking three dollars Then I grabbed these two guys. This is just a few vintage um, Coasters poinsettia coasters. I love to grab these. I've picked up quite a few different Christmas designs before um, And I got this cute uh, Santa mug. It just says x90 on the bottom. I'm assuming it's probably uh, Japan it's a little bigger than most of the ones that I've gotten But I thought his face was really cute I liked it. Um, there is some missing paint on this side, but it's okay to me. That's just character, um, and I'll just leave it like that. Um, I definitely won't use it because that will just pop right off. Um, but yeah, so I grabbed those two, and like I said, for those two items, the three sacks and these three, I paid two dollars, so I didn't feel like that was too bad. My husband also had picked up some things. Um, he picked up a black, um, I think it's Black's Law Dictionary or something. He always sells those really good. He picked up that for two dollars and then something else. So we spent like four bucks, four or five bucks there. So that was a good little deal. And then I had said that um, the first four yard sales were a dud. Well, I forgot. Okay, the first three were done. The fourth one, I did buy something at it. I had kind of forgot about it when I said that in my last video. Um, these were 50 cents a piece. Um, and these are just, they're newer. They're like 20, 2018 just uh, replacement bulb sets. This is a bow, but these are really big. Like, I probably wouldn't put these in a tree. They're just kind of real big and like newer plastic, like heavy plastic. But I grabbed them for 50 cents. I'll do something with them. 
I really wanted these. These are just smaller than, and they're doves. And they are more like what I put in my trees. It's just a different feel of the plastic. I guess it's an older plastic. I don't know. Um, it just feels like the older ones that I get from the ceramic supply suppliers. But those were 50 cents a piece, um, which I guess if normally they were five bucks. So that was a pretty good deal. And they have, each have 50 in the package, so a penny, well, I guess a penny a piece. And then, I, and then, um, so I'm gonna do the haul on the yard sale that I went to. Um, you remember these two guys I showed in my la in my last video, uh, the the uh, following video. So, um, so all this here I paid I think eighteen dollars for. I did I did pay up a little bit for some things, but all this if you if you saw the video, most of this is made by this this lady that was running the yard sale, and she was so sweet. She she's so talented. She made a lot of cards crafts, I mean, jewelry, ornaments, all kind of things. Um, so anyway, it was fabulous. I did, I would have paid more for some of these items. But like I said, these two were $5 for, for both. One was three, one was two. I can't remember which was which. Um, but I picked up this little Santa Claus ornament. It is was handmade by her. And look how cute. He has a pipe. He has a really cute nose, cheeks, and eyes. Um, it's just made out of felt with a little stuffing with sequins and beads. Little beads on top. But that was so cute. And that I paid $2 for. Normally something like that, you know, you'd pay like 50 cents. But I love this. It was handmade by her and it was so nice to talk to her. Um, I definitely would definitely don't mind paying $2 for that. And then this was one of my favorite items I got from her. She made this. This is a little styrofoam ball for the head, and it's got this crepe paper for her hair and her curls and her wings. Um, I think there's cardboard underneath this fabric, and it's just folded, tucked in, and glued. And in the bottom, it's sort of like a brown paper. Um, so it's very lightweight. I love her little, um, I guess, decorations right here. But she was so cute. It's just so cute. I mean, she she drew the face on, or the face was drawn on with, like, marker or maybe paint. And just a little bit of a trim right there. But she's so cute. I hope you got to see the carolers that were in the same container as this little girl. I paid $3 for her, and I don't mind paying that at all. This thing was so cute, and it, it's very cute that she made this. I love I loved her. Just a little hot glue to our little ribbon to hide the hot glue there. But that was so cute. She had this and she had some that were next to these. I don't know if you saw, they were just little like um little Indians. They weren't in a boat. Those she did make, but I think she kind of copied the, these. This is just a little Indian baby with like feathers around his head in a little canoe. This was actually made in um, Alaska and it was $17.95 new and I paid her $1.50 for it so um, that was really cute but um, I hope you got to see the ones that she made that looked very much very similar which that could be easily be copied that cute little face right there with just some felt and markers I got these two cards she made a lot of cards this blue one she actually made and cut the paper um, it's just really pretty. Look at the butterfly with the little beads. It said handcrafted by Marilyn. This one I think was just a patch that she added to. She said she would sometimes buy make her own cards, but she would also buy cards from like the Dollar Tree and embellish them. And this is just so cute. Um this like this thing she just embellished. Um, but I love it. There was a card that when I was flipping through the cards, it had a reindeer on it that I meant to get, and I forgot to go back and get it. I was kind of bummed about that. And she even packaged everything up in cute little bags. Look at this cute little bag. This right here was a pair of earrings that she made, little Santa, I mean little snowman earrings. It's just like felt, fabric, and glitter, and that was $1.25. So cute. And then this little bird I got from her. She had a couple of these. There was this one was 150. This was the larger one. There were some smaller ones. Hopefully you saw in the video that were a dollar a piece. But it's so pretty and glittery. I don't know where she got these or where they're from, but I couldn't resist that one. It was just so pretty. 
And then this little set of um, guys right here, uh, this was in the Halloween bucket that hopefully you saw me going through. It is just a piece of wood with three little very rough pieces of wood uh, put down in it with felt on the bottom. But she made these little guys and this was $2. $2. Um, I need to fix the witch so you can kind of see her face. I need to somehow fix that a little bit and, and maybe trim the broom a little bit because it gets in our way. But it's a little witch in the middle with Happy Halloween here. Look at these cute little clothes. Just, there's a broomstick. This little pumpkin guy is so cute. That's just a little dowel fabric stuffed. They're little stuffed fabric hands. And uh, she did the she did the clothes. And down at the bottom, it's you can kind of... Uh, bend and move the edge it's like she has some really thin ribbon um down at the bottom of each one of them's outfit i'm trying to focus this so you can kind of place it and bend it this little guy i think needs some kind of hat he might have had one originally and it maybe it fell off or something i don't know i guess he's a little pumpkin guy or girl whatever but how cute is that little thing for two dollars and she made it i absolutely loved it We'll turn it around. You can kind of see a little more of the cute little fabrics. And I love fabric. I have such a... I'm trying to get rid of my fabric stash because I don't really sew that much anymore. But this is so cute. This would be easy to kind of replicate. Actually, all of her little items. Were, I'm going to try to maybe replicate this this girl. I think she needs a couple friends. And I'm going to uh, give that a shot to try to make some of those. But, whoops. That was such a great haul at that yard sale. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, um, yeah, so I hope you liked the video. I hope you were able to see the, the yard sale. Um, if you did, like, share, subscribe. Um, I'd love to hear a comment if you tell me what you like or didn't like. Oh, but one more thing I forgot. She had this sweet little neighbor with her who was helping her set up. And after I paid for all my stuff, she handed me, I totally forgot about this. She handed me this little bag right here. I said to here, this, and look, it's even decorated with like fall leaves. She said this is for stopping and shopping and buying, which was so cute. And this was in it. A little um, party clip set of six from World Market. Little, little owls, but how sweet was that? So that was free. Um, she had and she had a bunch of them. I guess I think she was giving them to just the people that you know bought something. But nobody was leaving that yard sale without buying a lot of stuff. I don't know if you could hear. There was one lady in the video that was there when I got there. She I heard her ask her for another ba basket. She said, "Well, I'm up to forty dollars and I need another basket because I'm going to spend about fifty. So I hope the lady had great success and sold a lot I meant to go back the next day but I had to work and I didn't get to go back but um I'm sure she'll have it again because she had so much stuff anyway hope you enjoyed it you guys have a great day and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye